Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Haseem Electronics. Friends, in this video we will troubleshoot this iron. We will make complete troubleshooting how we can troubleshoot every part of this iron. Take multimeter, set it to ohms. Connect both leads so that it is verified that our multimeter is functional. Connect both leads to both pins and rotate the thermostat. We listen the click sound, but there is no indication on the multimeter. So that means we have some issue with the thermostat. For that, take a screwdriver, flip screwdriver, and open this screw from here. We opened it. Now carefully remove like this and here is a plastic catch guide so we removed it so we can first of all if you want to test the cable we can test the power cable either our power cable is working or no set it to continuity connect only to one terminal one lead is here, second lead, connect it to ground pin, so power cable is good. Now you can test one lead here, connect it here, it's good. So it have uh, no short circuit the element now we have to remove one two three four four screws just lose it don't uh, remove them just only lose them so that it will remove from this point and remove this clamp and remove this light neon so our this panel will be separated now I remove this clamp point and I lose these screws remove this light from here and just lift it up like this so our this cable is now separate now we have to remove one two two screws and we have to remove thermostat knob remove this screw from here and this screw from here and now come to this point now using sharp sharp screwdriver lift it up slightly carefully lift it up like this the valve and nozzle carefully remove it now we have one screw here like one two these three screws This screw is long. These screws are short because these are in plastic and this one is in metal part. So our these three screws are for this bucket. Here is a water tub. So we removed it. How is its circuit? Here the line is entered and it goes to this thermostat switch. From thermostat switch it is coming out from thermostat switch line goes to thermostat switch from thermostat switch it comes out and it have two points here are two junctions one line is returning back to this terminal box here is one end of the light the one light is collected at this point and the second light second point is connected to common one line then it goes to heating element this point is going to heating element and heating element from inside it's coming out so here is a temperature sensitive fuse that is connected between the neutral line the earth is connected directly to the chassis earth is chassis and here is neon connected here so this is total circuit 
Now we have this base. This line is going to element and this is the second end of the element. Set multimeter to ohm. Check resistance. It is 39.7 ohm. So that means it is good. Now connect one line to this end and check with the ground chassis. No short circuit. Connect with this end and check with ground. No short circuit. So element is safe. Element have resistance. Now the most common problem in this iron that is this fuse. Here is a fuse in this sleeve. Set multimeter to continuity. Check continuity between the neutral line between neutral and the one end of element. At one side the element at the second line there is thermostat. Set multimeter to continuity. Connect this input terminal. Rotate the thermostat. If it gives continuity that means thermostat is passing the current. So our thermostat is working now. Connect between these two points. Rotate the thermostat. It should disconnect. It is disconnecting. It's working. If it, we don't find the continuity between these two points, we see the resistance and thermostat is working good, but the path is not completing due to this fuse. You can replace this fuse. It is temperature sensitive fuse, so we have to replace this and it is safety. Never bypass this safety. Then we have this thermostat. Most of the time we have problem in these contacts. This contact. Most of the time there is a sparking between these two contacts. Take a fine sandpaper. Don't use rough. Just only enter. Make sanding here in the contact. Now rotate the other side. Enter between these contact points. So make sanding so that the points will be renewed. If it if it is burn out, so you have to remove this thermostat. Now after making the maintenance of the thermostat, after cleaning it. Now we have to make a final inspection and connect this washer, this knob. After that we have to place this upper handle here. Clearly, finely adjust it by entering these terminals, contact points. When it is properly seated, then we have to install these three screws. The long screw will come here and other two screws rear side. Now we have to adjust this knob. Set to resistance, connect between these two points. So it's working good. It's okay now. Now inspect this cable and if there is cable in this way, in this shape, you can use cloth tape. Now we have done the insulation and it's okay now. 
and if you want to replace this cable you can replace it now we will connect this terminal box here and tight it properly adjust this light here put the clamp now we fix this terminal box and verify these screws now tight this tight it here now fix it here and tight this screw flip screw driver here now carefully enter this nozzle and this knob this pump here place it here carefully press it here now it's lock using series lamp using series lamp connect both leads turn off the thermostat and now it is off turn it on it's ok connect with ground terminal earthing point it's ok connect with the chassis connect with both lines so connect with the ground line so that means it's ok ground is connected and our this line is ok so now we have to check now the steam started and the iron is off turn on sl slightly rotate and set the and check the thermostat function again it should turn off now so friends we completed our troubleshooting disassembling assembling testing procedure so if this video is informative for you if this video is informative for you so give a thumb up and if you want to watch my future videos and if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it and press bell icon button for my future videos thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh